Hi and welcome back. I'm Jody and let's continue installing our lab for LPIC1 free course. As I told you in the previous video, in the intro, we are going to install two Linuxes. One RPM based, I have chose uh, Fedora for this and an Ubuntu system for Debian based. These are two different package managers you can use. I wrote very ugly. It's a little bit better. Anyway, now we are going to use Fedora. First, you have to download an ISO file. If you are installing on an actual computer, on a physical computer, you can write this to your uh, USB disks or old school CD, which nobody uses anymore. Uh, and there are lots and lots of manuals how to do that. Here, I'm going to install on a virtual machine. I have a Windows machine here. Virtual box is installed and it's enough to go here, download it now. If you go to the download page of most of the Linux ISOs, you will see two different sets of softwares. One is for 64 uh, architecture. These are Intel. If it says x86, uh, 64, this is for Intel. Some distros call this AMD 64. These are all for Intels. Intel CPUs are used in most of the general laptops. Later, there was the uh, another architecture which is called ARM and Apple used it in its M1 Max. Mobiles use ARM architectures, M1 Max use ARM architecture and we will see more and more ARM architectures even on laptops soon. If you have an ARM machine, you have to use, you have to download your ISO for ARM. Most of the time they are called Arch A, Arch ARM architecture 64 or ARM 64 or something like that. But you have to choose the correct one. Even if you choose the wrong one, sometimes it works but much slower. Sometimes uh, it doesn't work and it will complain that download the correct one. So what I did was I downloaded the x86-64 for Intels. And sometimes you can choose between different variant of the distros with different desktops for different purposes. But you go for the most normal thing. I tried the beta. Beta is a being under test software. I have a Windows machine here, which I'm using for the uh, my virtual machines. I installed virtual box from Oracle acquired by Oracle, not recently anymore, VirtualBox. And here I have all the ISOs I'm going to use. For example, I have the Fedora KDE ISO, x86-64, which is for Intel CPUs. I chose KDE because this is a choice of desktops we will see during this course. But I chose KDE because I was going to install two and prefer to install Ubuntu in a normal desktop environment of the Ubuntu. The default, it's, uh, its default is on GNOME. So because it was on GNOME, I chose my Fedora to be KDE. So you will see both environments, especially on the topics where we are going to sp speak about the desktop environments. Anyway, let's be quick. On the virtual box, I will say new. We'll say, okay, I have a new machine. It is called Fedora 36. It says, okay, it's a version is Fedora. It's a Linux. I understood from the name. Very nice. I will give it four gigs of RAM. You can give it two, whatever you have. It says, okay, a new disk. When you are creating virtual machines, it will be a window with your computer inside it and a file on your hard disk, which works like these computers hard disk. So I will say, okay, create one, whatever is default, whatever is default, and dynamic allocation. So if I'm saying I need a 16 gigabyte hard disk, 
the virtual box won't allocate 16 gb gigabyte of my hard disk for this it will create a smaller file and will grow dynamically next and it is created you can have a look at its configurations general this the system is this this memory whatever on display i will give it some more ram to its display you can go through this and see for example here it has a cd controller which is empty i can put a cd here choose a disk i will say okay i will use this iso file as it disks as it's cd rom audio network is nat so it's connected directly to the internet and let's start it i added the iso to it so it will start booting from that iso because there is nothing on the hard disk i will go to the start fedora i didn't test the disk most of the cases you don't need if there is a problem you will get a problem uh, and it will start from that iso you can see that i have a window which is practically the computer i've just created from here you can go to full screen mode it says host the f goes to full screen mode host in most computers are on the default configuration is the right control so if i go with right control f it will become full screen this is fedora live just booted there is an install to hard drive i will run it it's beautiful Since it's running from an ISO, it's not very fast. And also it's running in a virtual machine. But no problem. It says choose your language. English. Continue. It says this is unstable because I downloaded the beta version. I want to proceed. It says okay, do these configurations. Keyboard is English. Okay. System. Install destination. It will install on this hard disk. Pay attention. This is a virtual machine and this is a file on my computer so no harm can be done if you are installing it in a dual boot on a real machine you may delete all your files by this step okay disable root account i'm not don't know why but the okay time and date is set network and host name it's not red or with a warning sign so i don't need to go there user creation Username is Jadi, username is Jadi123 as a password. I'm not sure, but the GUI designer was able to hide the buttons here. The worst place you can put a done button. It should be here, or at least here. It says, okay, you press done, but the password is weak. Press done again to confirm this password. Okay, done. It was hidden here. And now everything is done. I go over begin installation and ta-da! You installed your first Linux. Or you've installed it if you wait a little bit more. You saw it was super easy. I will read my book. When it's done, I will be with you. We just installed it. As you saw, it was super easy. Pay attention again. If you are installing as a dual boot, you have to understand what you are doing when selecting the disk. Otherwise, you might delete your whole system. But when you are in a virtual machine, it's safe. We will speak about these configurations later in the course. Okay, we are on last stages. As you can see, it's generating init RAM FS. This is another thing which we will see during this course. It is fun. When I'm teaching something like this, a large course, always we say up to some stage you are saying we are going to speak about this. At some stage we start saying, ah, as you've seen in previous sessions. So 
we are in the beginning but no harm running post installation script as you saw it was super easy to install a linux even maybe easier than software because you don't need to provide any registration code your email address you log in into something you just put the iso in go to next 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 and finish installation this was a live cd it booted the computer we ran the installation program so now i have to shut down this computer you remember this is a virtual machine practically i'm just in a box so i can come here say for example from the view it's closed before i do anything so now you have your fedora 36 running if you run it you will see that it will boot up it will work and you will have a rpm based on the next session we will go for a debian installation ah a problem i will push ctrl f right ctrl f will close this it is a computer so it says how you want to close it save the machine state just freeze it or power off the machine the problem is that we have a cd inside it we have to detach that cd i can go here maybe i don't know i will go to the settings i will say from the storage take that cd out remove this from virtual machine now the cd is not there and it will boot from the hard disk For fancy reasons, I will go with right control and F to make it full screen to pretend it's a real computer. It will boot up. Fedora for the next time will do some minor configurations. So it will take a little bit more. Initial setup. Finish configuration is done. And it says the password one two three and your system is here we have our first linux with the kd environment which is very beautiful you can open from here run the console console is your terminal the place which we can give commands the internet is working everything is fine let's go for a ubuntu for our lab like a good person we will shut this on cool 